Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon, and we are live. And in this live stream, we will be opening up four different Elite Trainer boxes. And I am really looking forward to this Elite Trainer box opening with my wife, Carla, who's not actually hiding behind a product mm -hmm. this time. But we have four different Elite Trainer boxes to open up during this live stream. Shining Face, and of course I had a poll both on Twitter and on YouTube, most people wanted to see Shining Fates. And then I also have a Hidden Fates Elite Trainer box to open up, as well as both boxes from Battle Styles. Personally, I am most excited to get Battle Styles opened up just because I'm a huge fan of the alternate art cards. So I have the Single Strike one, as well as the Rapid Strike one. And Battle Styles is hard to come by, even though the set is brand new. And if you watched the booster box break that I did, William LaRosa was the winner of that, winner take all. He had an amazing booster box overall. With that being said, before I get too far into this video, I will be doing another booster box break for Battle Styles. Winner takes all, essentially if you get the highest numbered card in your booster pack, you win the contents of the entire booster box. $13 per spot, so the same price as the previous one. The way that you enter via PayPal, ryanmajeski at msn.com, and you can find that information in the description of this video. So let's start getting into some of these Elite Trainer boxes. I know that's been a complaint of some viewers is that I talk too much in the live streams and that's what I like to do just have more fun in the live streams. Carla's here. We're not going to do so much of a battle but Carla's definitely had some better pulls than I have in recent videos so I might let her open some of the more valuable products. So first <clears throat> up I will be opening one of the battle style so there's the rapid strike in the blue i'll start with the single strike one and that is my preferred version of urshifu so eight packs here i did pre-order this elite trainer box from collector's cash for 34.99 i have the price guide pulled up on tcg player right now very valuable cards in the set three cars are actually worth more than 120 dollars that's why I thought I'd do another Battle Styles Booster Box break to give everyone a chance at getting some of these very valuable cards. March 19th, 2021 is the official release date for this set, the fifth main Sword and Shield series expansion. So I'll open up the contents here and Carla is moderating the chat and I would like to thank her for doing that. And of course, Carla can get into some of the openings as well. I thought I had everything set up. And then I have to reach for my box cutter. Handy I know Carla's, yes, cutter. my handy dandy box cutter, like my handy dandy notebook from Blue's Clues, right? Mm -hmm. That's where I get that from. I watched a lot of Blue's Clues when I was younger. My mom did daycare, so that was on a lot. I was a big Nickelodeon fan. I'll leave the box cutter on the table. So eight booster packs inside of an Elite Trainer box for a main expansion. I don't know why you didn't rest up before this video. So that you wouldn't be yawning so I'm much. Sorry. I guess the poles just have to pick up. But as you can see, I have my lucky gold wash on, right? A women's wash, according to Carla. I would disagree. Look at that beauty. So take that out. There's the player's guide. 183 total cards in the Elite Trainer box. You can actually see all of the cards in the checklist by opening this up. And then here would be the more valuable cards here. This one and this one. The or Shifu VMAX alternate art. Now, unfortunately, there's not anything in that reverse hollow slot in battle styles. Now, this is a normal elite trainer box with sleeves, energy cards, etc. So there would be the sleeves, the energy card, it's like normal, the card dividers. I won't dig too much into this. I'll just go right to the booster packs. Let me know in the live chat if you want to see something specifically from the Elite Trainer box. But I'll go to the opening view and then interact with the live chat. 117 viewers right now. So thank you to everyone viewing this video live. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already and leave a like. 
if you think this video deserves it. So I'll start off with a Rapid Strike or Shifu pack. I'll let Carl open up maybe the other Elite Trainer box, see who does better. You need to wake up. Now with Battle Styles, it does seem like it was rushed through production. So like the booster box that I opened up for the first break, that was crazy pulls. Probably the best Battle Styles booster box you will ever see opened up. So hopefully another box that I'm doing for the booster box break will have similar pulls. Frillish starts the first pack here. Esper, Blitbug, Silicobra, Houndour, Darkness Type Energy, Tool Jammer, a good tool card for turning off your opponent's tool cards. Bruxish, Bruxish. I was thinking of Carla Yawning, Bouffalant, Reverse Hall of a Rare in Colossal, and the final card would be a Jellicent. Of course, I'll summarize all of my pulls at the end. My money's on her, that's what Super Dave Sammy says for who's going to get the better pulls. Single Strike or Shifu now, and I definitely prefer Single Strike to Rapid Strike. Let's see. Carla knows what this means right here, a green colored code card. She has a big smile on her face. Yeah. She's laughing on the inside at me, I'm sure. Oh, for sure. Timber starts the second pack. Tepig. I like that artwork. Glammeow. Tuttle's upstairs running wild, right? Mm -hmm. Silicobra. Frillish. Grass type energy. Bruxish. Bouffalant. Level Ball, one of the best cards in the set. Search your deck for a Pokemon of 90 HP or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And you can get this as a secret Shuffled. rare. Aegislash, is this another rare? Yes, it is. Two for two. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. That makes you awake, right? And the final card would be a lick a licky. That'll cheer you up. Lick a licky. How do you like to be licked by a lick a licky? Slobbered. Yeah, that's what I would say. Not like Tuttle's tongue that's real rough. Yeah, it'd be soft. All right. So, welcome to Sentai Fan 45. He's in the live chat. Pedro, just an FYI, I will be doing another Battle Styles Booster Box break. Same price, $13 per spot. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com to get into the break. You can find that information in the description. You need to get an energy drink or something. I know you're a big caffeine fan, coffee fan, right? Big time. Big time. Gligar starts this one. Salandit. Here's a donation from Dat Crazy Blamer. Hello, primetime Pokemon. Do you prefer single strike or rapid strike? Overall, I definitely prefer Channel single strike. Naughty. No, it's not. Sorry. Anyways, $5.81, which is a very specific donation. Thank you very much. I prefer single strike because it's more of a one-hit knockout style as opposed to the rapid strike that's more of a technical type of attack, a sneaky attack. <clears throat> Bronzor. Cacnea, Spoink, Fighting Type Energy, Camping Gear, Seedra, Scroll of Swirls, which is a tool card Swirl that attaches to swirls. Rapid Strike, Reverse Hall of a Tepig, a Common, Final Card, nice, a card that I've actually pulled a couple of times now, but a Corviknight V Max, nice. one of six different V Max available in this set. I do like this card's ability. Carla would also be a fan. Prevent all effects of your opponent's Pokemon's abilities done to this Pokemon. So goodbye, Decidueye. It'll go right through Decidueye. So that is excellent. And then G-Max Hurricane, 240 damage for 3 energy, which is not bad at all. Set that aside. Next up here. Single strike or Shifu. Shifu. Or Shifu. That is the featured Seafood. Pokemon for battle styles. Globermast. That's my favorite VMAX Pokemon. Awesome for the Corviknight VMAX. What? Galarian Mr. Mine. Bellsprout. Onyx. Spiro. Sizzlepeed. That's an angry looking sizzle, Peter. It looks like it got um, crushed almost, smashed. Yeah. 
Psychic Type Energy, Swordward and Shieldbert, Mark and Crystal right there, Fero, <laughs> Carnivine, Reverse Hall of a Spoopa, and the final card would be a card that I pulled earlier in Asia Slash. Nothing good. No, that Corviknight VMAX is I excellent. I know, I mean, in this part. Okay, so now we have the Tyranitar, Tyranitar V, the alternate art, a card that I love to pull. And Curla is the snore between yeah. the two of us. Now, big news for us. I know I've mentioned a couple of times that Curla thinks that our mattress is too hard. So then we were researching a mattress and we did finally pull the trigger on one. We purchased a Helix Lux mattress. So it is a bed in a box. But the good news for Curla is that we also bought the adjustable frame. So that has it where you can tilt it up a little <laughs> bit and have it become anti-snore right so we'll see we got the mattress in the mail today still waiting on the bed frame and thank you to those who purchased some of the cars i was selling on my personal ebay and you can find links to that in the description of this video your purchases definitely helped all righty horsey starts this one <laughs> cherubi lick a tongue lick a tongue or lick a licky which one would be more slobber right lick a tongue would be slobber electabuzz esper Lightning type energy, Cedra pulled Horsey many times. Fan of Waves is a decent card. Put a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon on the bottom of their deck. Dotler, Reverse Hollow, and Esper. Final card would be a Sandaconda, a rare Hollow. You can see the hollow foil pattern a little bit. I would love if cards are printed in the same hollow foil form as Fossil and Jungle, two of my favorite sets. Empoleon now, another Pokemon available as a V full art. And I'm sure Tuttle will like the bed. Now the adjustable frame from Helix actually has massage in the feet and the head. Can you see Tuttle freaking out if you turn yeah. the massage on? He'd be out of there. It's just fine by me. Less hair on the bed, right? Yamper with his ball search ability, a very good ball ability. Lickitung. Zubat, a hacky sack Zubat, Remoraid, Onyx, Fighting <laughs> Type Energy, Swordward and Shieldbert, Bisharp. Look at that one. I'm not superstitious about picking packs, just a little stitious, I would agree. <laughs> Golbat has a good ability on it. Oh, Reverse Hollow of a Cubone, a common. Final card would be a Rapid Strike or Shifu V. I have not pulled this card before. Now, Carla will attempt to defeat me pulls wise with the Rapid Strike or Shifu Elite Trainer Box. I might have it with a V Max and now this Rapid Strike or Shifu. Pretty cool looking card. There's also an alternate art that I actually pulled in the first booster box break that I did for battle styles and again i have another one coming up 13 dollars per spot for that ryan majeski at msn.com via paypal to get into that break all you have to do is when you pay via paypal just let me know that you're going for the battle styles break speaking of you sure or shifu right single strike now a pretty good elite trainer box there you go the most valuable card in this set would be, I believe it's the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, the alternate art. I showed the price guide a few minutes ago. Bellsprout starts this one, second to last pack. What should we open next, Carla? Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, or do you want to open up the Battle Styles? Mm -hmm. I know you want to open up the Battle Styles. Look at your eyes. I want to open up Battle Styles. Bronzor, Murkrow, Horsey. Would that be a relaxing sound, horsey? It's like a fountain in the water there. Cherubi, water type energy. Scroll of Swirls, this attaches to Rapid Strike Pokemon. Bufalant, Crawdont, Reverse Hollow of a Heatmore, this would be an uncommon. Rare here would be a Stone Journer. Now, if you're able to pick up a build and battle box from Battle Styles, the four pre-release promos are actually all really good. Cherim, Octillery, Houndoom, and Bronzong. I like Houndoom best because it is a great one for getting single strike cards into your hand. 
was hoping for some last pack magic, but Dang it. a green colored code card there. As you can see, if I flip this around, redeem after the Pokemon.com URL. Still very happy with the ETB overall. Lickitung starts this one. Horsey. Mankey. He's ready for a fight. Mm -hmm. Mawile. Fomantis. Darkness type energy. Grumpig. Mm -hmm. Energy Recycler. This is a very competitive card. Girder. Reverse Hollow of an Urn of Vitality. This is a great Reverse Hollow here. Shuffle up to two Single Strike Energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Single Strike Energy increases the attacks of Single Strike Fighting and Darkness type Pokemon by 20. And then Vivian would be the butterfly. rare, the final card. So I'll summarize my pulls and then Carla can open up her Battle Styles Elite Trainer Box. See which one of us gets better pulls and I'm actually feeling pretty confident that I might actually win this battle against Carla and then we'll move on to Hidden Fates and then leave Shining Fates until the end even though Hidden Fates is my favorite set of the three sets in this video. So from the Elite Trainer Box, number one, Aegislash and Colossal, so two rare Reverse Hollow, mm -hmm. a rare Hollow in Sandaconda, one VMAX in Corviknight, Oh, I thought you <laughs> And then a you Rapid Strike or Shifu, the V Full Art. I'm paying attention. Yes. You thought I just pulled that card or yeah, what? Yeah, like what? You pulled it again? Yeah, I pulled some really good cards there. All right, Carla. I'll let the live stream go to you and wish Carla the best of luck. Maybe your team Carla, maybe your team Ryan. We'll see what happens. So, I'll take over Carla's phone. And where are we going? I'm just going to your chair. No, I mean, what am I doing? You're opening this whole the whole thing box. Yes, eight Shh. packs. You can do it, eight packs. So let me flip around here. I'll go on the phone because you don't know what you're viewing. See, watch. There you go. There you so go. this is the rapid strike one. The box cutter's right there if you want to use that. If I want to cut myself, I can see that happening. Super Dave Sammy says the Elite Trainer Box Battle could go either way. That's a good call, Carla, not opening it on the table and knocking everything around. That is a good call. There you go. Do you want to do Twisty's trick and just... Are you okay? Nope. You cut yourself on the desk? Yeah. So this you can actually open up and show the artwork on it if you'd like. Bombs away! There is That's the true. player's guide. What card are you going to pull out, Carla? Mm. There would be one of the more valuable cards, the blue one or the red one. Um, which one? Something rainbow. Oh, you want a rainbow rare. Okay. So if you go like this, if you flip this over and then you lift it up like that, you can just take the packs out and call it good. See how well that works? See how well that works? So eight packs, and then she can put it right back in the box and set it down very gently. And I see in the live chat that a lot of people are having trouble getting products from Walmart, Target, etc. And all of these products I either purchased online somewhere. I've had a lot of trouble in retail stores as well. Oh, there you go. So there would be the first pack. Let's do it, Carla. Good luck to you. Good luck to me. I know Flamestar 320, Power of the People, is on Team Ryan, but they're wishing you the best of luck. A good start for Carla. I can tell you that. Look at the big smile on her face with this white Four, color code card. Two. Four and then two, yes. Okay, Carla sets them down on the mat so that she doesn't give away what's in those final spots. All right, we have a bronzer. Murkrow. Terry Dennis, this is live, yes. Horsey, Cheruby, Lickitung, Darkness Type Energy. Phoebe, a good Phoebe. supporter. Maybe you'll get that as a rainbow rare. That wouldn't be bad. Heatmore, Firo. Left one first, that would be the Reverse Hollow. Reverse Hollow. Oh, Ooh. nice. Rapid Strike Energy. Strike Energy. Is that a, what is it, a diamond? Uncommon. So does that go here? Yeah. Or here? 
Okay, this could be something good. Let's see. Rare haul at the very least. Ready? Nice. Tyranitar V. v. Now that card as a V full art in alternate art form. Worth over $100 right now. David Hubbard. I actually had eggs yesterday. I have some sausage, peppers and onions, mushrooms, eggs all mixed together. And I threw some of your hot sauce on there. Excellent. Oh, you did? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the Carla does not eat that because she does not like anything spicy. Anymore. I shouldn't have even spoke because look at this. She shouldn't have spoke. Yeah, I shouldn't have said one thing. What is this? Tepig? Yes, Tepig. Hondage. Honage. Honage. Uh, yep. Electabuzz. Baltoy. Gligar. Grass type energy. Bufalant. Level ball. Spupa. Before you say that, two comments. Key Sabado, I've gotten two full art trainers from Battle Style so far. Not bad. There's what? Six different full art trainer cards. Actually, all of them are pretty competitive. And then, let's see. Terry Dennis, some guy who buys sports cards at my local Walmart, bought all the Battle Styles ETBs. Not even a good set. Well, I didn't think it was going to be that great of a set, but with those alternate R's, the prices are pretty high still right now. And actually, that happened, I would assume, at our local Walmart. Carlos on the Pokemon Go Facebook group. Someone bought basically the whole display of the individual Battle Styles packs and was trying to sell it. I don't know how much they were selling it for. I don't know if they knew anything about Pokemon cards other than they were trying to make a quick flip. Yep. All right. Reverse Hollow, right? Reverse Hollow. Spupa. Nico Webb. The fa my their favorite channel. Been watching for years. Thank you for being Whoa. a long time viewer. Some texture on there or what? No. In the rare. Ooh. Oh. Wow. I got a rainbow. Wow. So close to getting that alternate art, that card that's worth over $130. But single let's go strike. over here. Yeah, Fierce. the single strike or Shifu V Max, the rainbow rare. Now look it. If you would have pulled this one, the alternate art, $120. But the one that you actually pulled, Isn't that forty-three dollars right there. Single strike or Shifu V Max. Look at that! Congratulations, Carla! You just won the <laughs> battle. Congratulations! Wow! Congrats to Carla. Oh. I don't even know why I go against her because she Whoops. wins every time. And then she dropped all the commons on the floor because I was nervous. You were nervous. Wow! Congratulations, Carla. Everyone knew it. Everyone know it. Whoops. And I just put, for David Hubbard, he actually sent me some hot sauce. And I put some on my food. So that hot sauce is where? From Kansas City, right? And then I just put a little bit. I put actually little. paste salsa on the majority of it. And then I just put a little bit extra hot sauce to see how spicy it is. It was good stuff. Pawniard? Yes, Carl automatically wins. Go ahead. Mankey, Sizzlipede, Baltoy, Timber, Lightning Type Energy, Bruno, Carcoal, it's like charcoal. Yeah. Pig Knight. Hold on. Chocobo. Hold Why is on. it always about money? Remember when you used to just open the cards and enjoy collecting? Yes, because I sell every single card I get, right? You don't at all. Yeah. We have a lot of cards that he has all around the house that. He hasn't even sold, so. I'm a collector at heart. But, of course, as a collector, I want to get Pokemon either that I like a lot or valuable cards that are tough to pull. That's part. What I like probably most about collecting is that actually opening packs is I'm trying to pull the card that I want most. And in this case, in Battle Styles, because there's not Charizard, the cards I want to pull most are the most valuable cards. I really do like that Single Striker Shifu VMAX, and I will definitely try and build a deck around single striker shifu v max go for it carla all right reverse hollow of a spiro you know spiro from pokemon go right yep and the rare is a what is it prime ape prime ape yep prime ape key sabado do i have all of my fan mail from fans oh yeah if i go to my parents house i have 
a bunch of boxes there just full of the fan mail that I've received over the years. Whoops. A couple of green color code cards in a row for Carla, but it's over. I've already lost this Elite Trainer My box luck battle. is over already. I pulled out, what, a V Full Art and V Max, which is good, but that single striker Shifu V Max Rainbow Rare, so good. All right. Glam Meow. Galarian Slowpoke. Yamper. Murkrow. Salandit. 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 Fighting type energy. Rapid strike energy. Phoebe. Yep. Heatmore. Schmohawk. All I want from Battle Styles is the alternate art Tyranitar, but those prices have to come way down before I buy a single one. I would agree. Weeping Bell for the re uh, Reverse Hollow. A decent ability on that one, inflicting burn and poison. Yep, I hate those ones. I know you do. And then the rare is a Stone Journer. Nice. That you pronounced the name correctly. Probably because you've said it before sometime. I hope so. Haven't you been sitting down here for months with me? No. Somebody else. Curla, she's more into playing the TCG as opposed to collecting, right? Yeah. I would say you're more of a player as opposed to a collector where I collected for, what, Mm, let's see, almost 20 years before I started playing. Yeah. 2017 is when I really started playing. Salandit. Roly Coley. Esper. Shinx. Blitbug. Fire type energy. Spupa. Single strike style mustard. 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 Goldbat. did it. It was in with the rope in the kitchen right <laughs> yes reverse hollow of a salazzle what's the rarity there that's a rare. star yeah so set that one aside and then for the re for rare <laughs> yeah I'm getting confused lorantis so a couple of comments here jim did you watch frosted caribou's video about the pokemon tcg there was a clip with you in it i should watch it i see a lot of recommendations for me to watch her channel I know my thoughts on the Pokemon TCG is it's tough to know. The bubble has to burst eventually, but if the supply remains low... I told you my luck was done. Everything's going to be sold out for indefinitely, I would say. It's over. Blipbug. Roly Coley. Chimmy. Chim Chimico. Ch Chimico. Chimmy Choo. Onyx, Sizzlipede, Psychic Type Energy, more Peko. He's mad. He's hang hangry tackle. That's what it says. Double blade. Oh yeah, it does say hangry tackle. That's a that could be your attack right there. <laughs> Cheryl. Which I pulled as a full art in the first booster box break. The reverse hollow is a crawdont. What's the rarity there? A diamond. So that'd be uncommon. And then the rare is an Electra, Electivire. Another question on what's your favorite Battle Styles card. And my favorite, I, I really like the Single Strike Special Energy. It reminds me of my favorite deck from when I first started playing Buzzwool GX with the Strong Energy. This is sad. Yeah, you pick the right packs to open up right away and it's been a downhill since then that's but probably I would, it i would say actually the special energy i like quite well and then i actually like the single strike or shifu v better than the v max but you throw on something like telescopic sight and then you can use the v attacks on the v max like the buzz esper timber galarian slowpoke Cor corfish yep metal type energy Escape rope. Not bad. Carla's used that card before. Grumpig. Luxio. We got a reverse hollow of a Electivire. That has to be a rare. Is there a star there? Yep. Okay. And the rare is a clay doll. Clay doll? Clay doll. Okay. Final pack. Wish and Carla some Lax magic. magic, right? So I've got nothing. 
It could be a closer battle than I had thought. She started off hot. Ooh, Ooh could end hot. with some last pack magic because Carla gets another white colored code card. Doesn't want to come out. Good luck at Walmart, Rob K. One time I found top loaders at Walmart. The next time I went there, they're all gone. And it just boggles my mind. As you go to Walmart, there's just nothing there for anything for Pokemon cards. It doesn't matter if, if they're terrible products or not. They're gone. Pomantis. Yes. Spiro. There you go. Zubat. Cubone. Frillish. Frillish or Frillish? Frillish. Water type energy. Gliscor. Gliscor or Gliscor? Gliscor. Bruno. Rapid Strike style mustard. Reverse hollow. Of a Tower of Darkness. Nice. Look at that one. Once during each player's turn, that player may draw two cards. In order to use this effect, that player must discard a single strike card from their hands. So that's a very good supporter right there. Okay. Right. Just yep, a stadium card rather, not a supporter. I'm like, what am I thinking? Is there some texture on there? Is that why you're smiling? I'm laughing at you. Oh, that's not nice. Luxray. Luxray. Sad. Sad day. Rare hollow. Do you want to summarize your polls, Carla? It could be a toss-up. Let me know in the live chat. Team Ryan or Team Carla? So I just pulled that. So how many rare hollows did you pull out? One? I think so. One rare hollow, two rare reverse hollow. And then the best pull between the two elite trainer boxes for sure in the single striker Shifu V Max Rainbow Rare. And then the Tyranitar V. In my elite trainer box, I pulled out the Rapid Strike or Shifu V full art. And then the Corviknight VMAX. So it almost is a toss-up. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. I do wish I agree with Kevin's collectibles. I wish they would make all the code cards the same and do the same thing with the weights. Buzz kills sometimes. And I know that, that ruined it for a co-worker of mine. He hasn't been opening Pokemon much lately because everything's sold out. But Forrest, he, once he figured out that code card, he was disappointed. Because he'd look at that like you and be like, aw, a green color code card. <laughs> All right, we're going to go to Hidden Fates next and then save the final Elite Trainer box for Shining Fates. You need to go get a snack? I'm not going up there. Oh, okay. Well, do you want to take over the live chat for a short time? Do you want me to get you a snack or what? Probably because I'm really kind of starving. Are you going to use Hangry Tackle on me? Hangry Tackle. So before I go up and get Carla a snack, <laughs> and what do you prefer? I don't know. Another reminder, I am going to have a booster box break for Battle Styles. Another one. $13 per spot. Winner takes all. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com via PayPal to enter. You can purchase as many spots as you'd like. Highest card in Ooh. the pack wins the entire contest. Did you finish the last muffin? No. Okay. You're going to eat a muffin over these good cards? Mm -hmm. Well, it looks like you're going to be a spectator for the rest of the live chat, the live stream, if you're <laughs> eating a muffin. Bro. I'm not your bro. Yes, you are. Okay. So, do whatever you want to do, Carla. If you want to open up the Hidden Fates one or just interact with I the chat for a short time. I gotta feed my hangry stomach. Yeah. Okay, Carla. You can do whatever you'd like. I will be right back. Okay. There you go. You can just do face cam, talk about whatever you'd like. Talk behind my back. Go for it. Go get Tuttle while you're upstairs. Yeah. Somebody I said. I don't have that much time. Get I'll grab you the muffin. Do you need water? Get tacos. No. Just a muffin. Okay. Just a muffin. Aw, thank you. Ma Mazo Shake. Hidden Fates next. Hidden Fates is next, I'm supposed to say. All right. So ask me anything. I don't know what to say. I feel lost. I feel on the spot. I don't like to be on the spot. Rip. No, we're not siblings. Ew. How many children do I want? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> I used to want to have four babies, um, but we'll see how one goes. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. <laughs> I love Shrek. We have been together for 11 years, right? 
11 years? Be 12 years in June, right? Yeah, but it's 11 years and how, however many months or whatever. Okay, I'm back. One thing that Ryan absolutely hates. When people, oh, I make this really annoying sound with my teeth. And he's like, are you done? <laughs> it's like a ticking, like, like a, a nervous tick. It's like a thing. nervous tick type of thing, so he hates that. All right, I'm back. Let's get to opening. Aw, sad. Didn't too many viewers away? I don't think so. I didn't even check that. Oh, okay. People don't like me anyway. Oh, Carla. This you have a bad attitude at sometimes. This person was coming at me saying that, why do you even have me in the in the stream if I don't even, if I don't even care, so I bash them. Oh, Carla. All right. Now, you wouldn't do good with the, your own channel, would you? Nope. Cause you? I told them that I've been having a rough time, so they need to just stop. Oh, I see. All right. So, let's go to Hidden Fates. So, this is a special expansion. A very valuable Elite Trainer box I'm opening up. A Shiny Vault subset That's inside Ryan's Hidden Fates. English professor. Yes, I'm an English professor. Charizard GX, the shiny one, <laughs> worth almost $600. Would love to pull that card. I pulled Umbreon. Really, any of the EV evolutions. Mewtwo wouldn't be bad. Ho-Oh is one of my favorite. So lots of potential for Hidden Fates. And then I'll open up the Shining Fates Elite Trainer box at the end. So Sorry, here is the... Eating. Mute yourself, Carla. Here is the... <laughs> Elite Trainer Box, and it has this sticker here, so I have no idea where I actually got this. I've had this sealed for a while. And Shining Face is a set that I'm trying to collect a little bit of. I've had an extremely hard time finding Shining Face. Hidden Face, I didn't have as tough of time, so I do have some sealed products still in my collection. So that's what I've been doing. I was lucky enough to pull the Shiny Charizard from I believe it was the Ultra Ball collection or the Great Ball collection. So I'll do that same trick. Let's see if it works here for this one just to take the packs out. Looks like that is the case. And I've opened plenty of Elite Trainer boxes in my day where the contents would be just everywhere. I will show the stained glass, the mosaic, Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos. GX. I actually have five of those for sale on my eBay. If you're interested in that, I think they're $94.99 for five of them. That was part of the project to quickly save up for Carla's brand new mattress. So let's go Your to this. Favorite book? My favorite book. Probably the books that I've read the most would be Harry the Harry Potter. Potter, right? I figured that. When the final book came out, Deathly Hallows, I weighed, as soon as I got it, I read it within 24 hours. I read the whole book. Because he was sleeping up there. I don't want to wake him. He's yeah. been a good cat. Sad day. Oh, what about the end? Well, you can, I'll go get Tuttle later. We still have another Elite Trainer box to open up. We have 20 packs to open up still. So we have plenty left in our live stream. So there would be the 10 booster packs. Did I open up the first Lugia Elite Trainer box from, I believe, Plasma Storm? Sure did. There's your <laughs> lemon poppy seed muffin, right? Yes. We have Hy-Vee and Fairway in town here. I prefer the Fairway muffins. I'm going to have to have Carla try them because they are much better. All right, Carla. Wish me the best of luck. Do you want to wish me the best of luck on these packs? Because you have very good luck lately. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever that did. Thank you very much. There is the Charizard. It's a little warmer outside. I could whip off my shirt, right, and run around outside if I pull a Charizard. I'm definitely Gryffindor, right, for House from Hogwarts. What's your favorite book? My favorite one. Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah. All the Dementors. That's a pretty good one. What's the worst thing about prison? Oh, the by dementors. the way, on Peacock, you can watch The Office free for a week. Yeah. So I've been binge watching it. Keith, unfortunately, I do not ship via eBay to Canada. If you want to purchase something privately from me, I can probably ship it to Canada for you ptpbiz at yahoo.com. Probably the best email to contact me if you'd like something. Running around in your birthday suit. Yeah, I don't think so. Jigglypuff <laughs> starts the first pack. Ekans. Coughing. Why are you smiling? Cubone. I don't know why that cheered you up so much. I don't think everyone wants to see the top of your head. Geodude. Just don't want to Fairy type energy. Chansey. 
Giovanni's Exile. Take a chance on me. Koga's Trap. Reverse Follow would be a Blaine's Last Stand, and that is where the potentially Shiny Vault subset card comes in. And then Lapras would be the final card. This set, unlike Shining Face, does not have much for value in the rare spot. Of course, Skyla Full Art and Shining Face, card I'd like to pull. Question? What? What do you have your hand up for? Do you have a concussion? I didn't know I had my hand up. Yeah, you're funny. You could be a sit-down comedian, I think. <laughs> See, you even think that's funny. All right. There you go. Four and then two. Hoping for from ten packs. I'd like to get one or two Shiny Bolt subset cards. I would assume they're about one in four packs. <laughs> Star U starts this one. Keith is interested in the Birds Trio promo. So if they're not sold when I get done on this video, I can send you an email. Or you send me an email, ptpbiz at yahoo.com. What are you doing right now? Eating? Yeah, so well, maybe you should move eat. your chair so you're not on the screen at all. Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Grass Type Energy. What's the difference? Brock's Pewter City Gym. Between a standard primetime Pokemon card and a custom. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. Misty's Determination. <laughs> Reverse Hall of a Noibat. I like this <laughs> shiny ball Noibat. card there. A baby shiny originally from Burning Shadows. What makes it a baby shiny? Just because it's not a GX. That's what they nickname for him. Non-GX shiny. And then Butterfree would be the rare. Have you ever thought about changing your hairstyle? Yeah, I should do a complete comb over. No. I want you to slick it back. Slick it back like Giovanni? Yes, I keep forgetting to get gel. Gel at when we go to the So the, the difference bar. between those two signature cards available on eBay, the standard one or whatever I put on there, that sort of just says... Primetime Pokemon, and then I sign my name. The custom one, I can write whatever you want on there. If you want me to write, hey, YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon, and then sign my name, I can do that. Um, both, I will accept um, most offers on them just because it does go directly to my channel. It is for supporting my channel. But basically, the more expensive one is more customizable. Mew on this one. Not Which bad with that noise good. bad. Justin Bieber look. My mom hated that haircut when Justin Bieber had it where he combed all his hair f to the front of his face. Is that what you're talking about? Somebody said that. Yeah. Hated it. He looks so good nowadays with his all of his tattoos everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Psyduck starts this one. Magikarp. Staryu. Voltor. <laughs> Pikachu. Sorry, Pedro. Lightning type energy. Farfetch'd, Brock's Grit, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Reverse Hollow of a Lucario GX. This is a beautiful looking shiny Pokemon card. Not bad at all right there. Really like the look of Lucario. Set that one aside. And that is the reason that Hidden Face is my second favorite set of all time. Vaporeon, a rare hollow. Brothers. Yes, brothers, Vaporeon and Jolteon. There you go. That would be an elbow cough, right? Remember when I used to do that all the time in the live chat? Yes. Mew too? Me too? Mew too? Oh. <laughs> you know, Mew, the second one. You said you too. No. Well, here comes a donation coming in, 99 cent donation, right? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Asian Gamer, Primitar, right? Oh, Pedro, bring one over. Caterpie starts this one. Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp. Sisters. Water type energy, they could be. That's what they said. Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Reverse All of a Jigglypuff, just a common. Rare here would be a Blaine's Last Stand. The card that I pulled in reverse hollow form, what was in the first pack? There you go. Where did we get the Brothers reference from? The Brothers, because we'd go to Walmart and they'd have the Pichu, <laughs> the Pichu plush, and Carl would think that it's Pikachu's brother. And I said, no, they're not brothers, they're evolutions of each other. And I kept saying it, Brothers. Yes, and our printer is the Brother brand, so that, sorry. 
That's the look I get if I put the pack on the wrong side. Did he give you another one, or is that the... Yeah. Gave you another 99 Oh, cent. thank you. Greatly appreciated. That'll pay for Carla's muffin, right? Ekin stars this one. Yeah. Paris. <clears throat> Caterpie. I don't drink coffee. Charmander. Clefairy. <sighs> Psychic type energy. Charmeleon. That's very sweet. Jinx. Graveler. Muerto Pharaoh. Reversal of a Kangaskhan, which is a rare, not a shiny vault card, however. Final card would be an Erica's Hospitality. You've been a follower since the good old days. God bless you and your family. Wishing you health, wealth, success, and joy. Well, thank you. Greatly appreciate that. Vote for Pedro, 2021. There you go. The Triple Tag Team GX here. The one and only secret rare in the base part of Hidden Fates. Card number 69 of 68, that card is. Oh, boy. You didn't hold the pack up and... Gave me a terrible look. All right. What Geo are dude. Favorite line from the office that always makes them laugh. Any line from the office makes them laugh. But liquor, our prices have never been lower. <laughs> That's my favorite line. Geo dude, Clefairy, Evie, Atkins, Paris. Anything funny is my favorite line. Fighting type energy, Farfetched. Brock's Grit. Primetime, you're beautiful. Misty Cerulean City Gym. <laughs> Geo Dude would be the reverse Holloway Stupid Common. Though. Final card would be a Gyarados Ooh. GX. Of course, Gyarados oh. from base set. There you go. The first card in my collection. Asian Gamer. Asian Gamer, a $2 donation. Getting a one up. Thank you very much. Mew Pack now. I'm hoping out of these last four packs to get one more Shiny Vault subset card. Maybe that Charizard. I would lose it if I pulled that Charizard. But as opposed to battle styles where the cards I'm really hoping for are the most valuable cards, there's lots of Shiny Vault subset cards that aren't the most valuable outside of Charizard that I would not mind pulling at all. Paris was in Paris. Paris was in Paris. Somebody's Here's there. another. Muffin, did you get a new mattress? Yes, we did get a new mattress. I sold a few of my cars to quickly save up for it, but Carla thought our mattress was too hard. She was tossing and turning at night, so now we got the softest mattress available from Helix we'll Sleep. Sleep. It's the Helix Lux mattress. I can see that happening. Yes, I can see that too. I even splurged and splurged. picked up the adjustable frame with it, so thank you to those who have contributed to Carla's mattress <laughs> fund. Pedro's favorite scene is where Kevin drops the chili. Yeah, that is a good one. Cubone starts this one. Magikarp. Geodude. I just finished, finished Benihana Christmas. Clefairy. Eevee. Before Prison Mike, right? After that was Prison that, Mike. Yeah, after Prison Mike. Metal type energy. Metapod. Misty Cerulean City Gym. Magmar. Reverse solo of a Swablu. There's a good looking Swablu. Really stands out. I definitely prefer the looks of the shiny Pokemon in this baby. set as opposed to Shining Fates. Is that a baby shiny too? Yes. Good. You caught on that pretty quick. And then a Brock's training. I just see stars and stuff. Maybe I could um, style my hair like Brock. One ninety nine from Asian Gamer. Well, thank you very much. Lots of donations coming thank in from you. Asian Gamer. Thank you very much. No. Yes, I have seen Arrested Development. You're going to say no to Schmohawk? No, I have watched it. I think what? Like a couple? No, I think. Did you watch? Eight or nine episodes? Yeah, I've watched Arrested Development a couple of times. And then when it came back on Netflix, I you watched would be it again. The, male of the ball. Yeah, don't drop the soap. Mewtwo pack. Now, not a bad Elite Trainer box overall. Which office lady do I relate to the most? A Angela. <laughs> Angela, <laughs> right? Angela. I well. Meredith, I guess, right? No. Kelly. No. It have to be Pam, right? That's well, the only yeah. one. I like her a lot just because I like their her and Jim's romance, and I'm a hopeless romantic. So. Voltor. Coughing. Ekans. Cubone. Magikarp. Splashing around there. <laughs> Fairy type energy. Charmeleon. <laughs> you already did me. Graveler. That's what she said. Charmander would be the reverse holly common. And then a Bill's analysis. Another good supporter card. Another favorite scene is when you're 
When Michael's getting in trouble for saying that's what she said yeah. all the time. And then and Packer then, gives him that little nod or whatever, that little look. And yep. He, and then Jim's like, oh, are you really going to be able to go that long? It's like, oh, well, yeah. you always left me satisfied and smiling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Carla. At least you're in a good mood now. You're awake, right? Yes, I'm awake. I had some sugar, so. Michael and Jan are goals. Yes, Definitely. <laughs> Pikachu starts this one and of course we do have a shining face elite trainer box to open up still in this live stream Charmander Voltorb what did I do? coughing Ekans nice Articuno in the background water type energy Ugh. Scyther Sabrina's suggestion I still think you'd be creeped out by Sabrina in the anime Probably. Pokemon Center lady reverse all of a Psyduck mm. looks like he has a headache there yep and the final card would be a Snorlax. Hoping to pull the Tyranitar Incredible V alternate snore. art sometime. It reminds me of Snorlax. Last pack here, and then I'll summarize my pulls. Again, I do have a booster box break going on for Battle Styles. Winner takes all. So only one winner for the whole box. $13 per oh, spot. You can ball. purchase as many spots as you would like via PayPal. Ryan Majeski at MSN.com. Just let me know that you are entering the battle style break are you trying to look to see if there's a good card in there no I really it is hard it. for me doing the card trick because you can tell if there's some texture on there so i'll do like carla and set the cards down hunter song is his jam oh yeah that's a good one <laughs> star you is that relationship goals hunter and jan yes star you clefairy slowpoke you really Pikachu, think you can go all day long. Charmander, Darkness Type Energy, Metapod, Misty Cerulean City Gym, and then a Magmar. I'll show the rare first. Which one be the rare, Carla? It? Rare or rare here or the reverse hollow on the right? Good for you, Jesse and James. I just guessed. Fifty-fifty shot. It's <laughs> either. Real, all right. Can I get some last pack magic here? Anything good? Metapod. Aww. So a solid elite trainer box from Hidden Fates. I have not seen, there's some questions in the live chat about Chilling Rain. That is the next set that comes out. I have not seen much about it yet. <laughs> I know pre-orders really aren't available either, but the set comes out in May, doesn't it? So three Shiny Vault subset cards out of 10 packs. Just like I was hoping for, I'd love to get three from Shining Fates, and I open no. up that in a moment. We don't watch anime. So. Pedro does, though. Out of the ten backs, was able to pull two rare reverse solos in Kangaskong and Blaine's Last Stand. I know most people don't care about those at all. Three rare hollows in Vaporeon, Brock's Training, and Jesse and James. Jesse and James. One regular GX from the base of Hidden Fates in Gyarados. And then three Shiny Vault subset cards. Actually, I like the looks of all three quite well. Do you buy me a mattress? Are you declaring bankruptcy? I declare bankruptcy! <laughs> Swablus. Swablu is a one. Noibat is number two. And easily the best pull Ooh, of Lucario. the Hidden Face Elite GX. Trainer Box, the Lucario Step GX. One, hold on. All right, so let's move on to Shining Face, the final Elite oh, Trainer Box we in this live stream. You want to set these very carefully over there? Oh, sorry. And then hand me the Shining Face Elite Trainer Box. Here's a Radical Ryan, CODM. What's the best way to know when pre-orders available? I know on like Collector's Cash, where I do a lot of pre-orders from, you can add this product to your wish list. So then when it comes in stock, oh. they'll email you. Um, some places will put a date on when pre-orders would be available. Mm -hmm. You see my dimples now. Yeah. All right. So Shining Fates. And I don't know if this is the one that I got from the Pokemon Company International or Josh, a fan of mine, sold to me for retail. Shining Fates has been so hard to come by. Like I mentioned earlier. Hidden Fates, I really had no issues with finding in stores. I had to do quite a bit of searching, but I did find them occasionally, and Shining Face is just... What a fluffy Eevee. Yeah, Eevee VMAX. Just no luck just with fluff. 
with all that fluff. this set. What's with all the fluff? Favorite products for Shining Face? I would say the premium collection boxes and the tins just because they are shiny promo cards. So I'll take Fluff. the 10 packs out. Who knows if I ever can get my hands on more Shining Fates, maybe I'll do another Shining Fates break. But that's why I'm doing the Battle Styles booster box break. Let's see. What in the world? That was oh, creepy. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what in the world? Why? Because you thought I was talking to you when no. you're messing around over there? Yeah, I was like... Yeah? <laughs> I was going to show the promo because this is a special expansion. So this set can't be purchased as individual packs or as a booster box. The EVV Max that comes with the, with the box. Now let's go to the appropriate view, which is right there. And let's go back to the live chat just to interact with everyone. Office versus iCarly versus SpongeBob versus... Office, no. Shiny Dragapult on this one. Now, before I get too far into it, I will go to the price guide and show one reason that Shining Fates is so popular. Of course, Shiny Vault subset. Charizard is a card I'm hoping to pull. I have pulled that card one time. One time. But it was in a break. It seems like the breaks lately that I've been doing have had amazing pulls, and then I send those out. I know William LaRosa actually won the battle styles booster box break the first one that i did had amazing pulls i sent that out today to him so that'll actually ship out tomorrow yes. so charizard spongebob is on my high list so eternatus two of those they aren't very valuable right now and then ditto v max another one king scarvy what i don't know <laughs> and then the skyla is a car that i'd like to pull as far as the Alexa full art trainers go that's shiny Dragapult, VMAX. Oh, I couldn't remember. All right, so let's go here. Aye. Shiny Dragapult VMAX. That is one of two premium collection boxes. And I have opened a fair amount of Shining Fates. I was lucky enough to get some from fans. And it's about one in three packs for a Shiny Vault subset card. So if I was able to get three from this Elite Trainer box, that have? would be good. What's the bet? Oh. More Peko starts this one. Never I don't understand what you're asking me. I'll Buizel. tell you later. Nicket. Since you Cacnea. don't understand. Kufant. Fighting type energy. Tropius, well, I'm sure for about twelve dollars a piece. Oh. Gym trainer. Oh, I forgot. Rotom. I had a pimple there. River Solovy Decidueye. I would love to pull this as a shiny Decidueye. Carla, remember this card's ability: prevent all I damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon V and GX. And then the final card would be a Boss's Orders, a very good supporter card. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active Pokemon. You're slipping up a little bit, Carla. Here is the Charizard, and I would lose it if I was able to pull a Charizard out. Another reminder, I do have a Battle Styles booster box break if you'd like to enter. $13 for one spot, winner takes all. Ryan Majeski at msn.com via PayPal if you would like to enter. Here we have a Kufant, Grookey, Buizel, Yanma. Yeah, Trap Inch. Trap Inch. Fire type energy. Fire type energy. Eldegoss. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Dartrix. Gym Trainer. Gym Trainer. Reverse Hall of a Toxtricity V. I thought that might have been Charizard at first. I, I saw that dark edge up there, but Toxtricity V. Love the colors on Toxtricity. Let's see. And then the final card would be a Celebi. All right. Next up here, what are the prices? And there's a lot. So I take that back as far as Shining Fates and Hidden Fates. They're hard to find, but they're hard to find because resellers are hoarding everything up and then reselling them for much higher prices. And that's what's happening for the most part. There's not actually that many people that 
open the products like I do. So that's why you go to a Walmart or a Target and they're all gone because people just buy them and then resell them. So you can certainly find Shining Fates or Champion's Path or really any set available online. But for example, an Elite Trainer Box like I'm opening here, $49.99 MSRP, you're looking at probably $90 to $110 for one elite trainer box of Shining Fates online. So it's definitely out there, it's just you have to pay a lot more and the hope is that the Pokemon Company International, and they have said that they're going to increase the supply this coming year and partly because of COVID the supply was down so hopefully the supply will increase enough that resellers will just have too much on their hands and it will drop prices down. Yanma starts this one. Trap Inch, Shinx, Rowlet, Eevee, Psychic Type Energy, Ball Guy. Wouldn't mind pulling a Ball Guy Full Art. <laughs> That'd be weird. Floatzel. A He's... Ball Guy Full Art be weird. He's a weird guy. Yeah, Team Yell Towel. Reverse all of a Corviknight. There we go. That matches what I pulled in my Battle Styles Elite Trainer box from earlier this evening. Corviknight VMAX there. I have not pulled this card from a pack before. My favorite card of all time in the live chat from Mark would be Charizard Gold Star. And here's a Luxray as the rare hollow. I really like the Charizard from Hidden Fates. I like it more than the like it a lot. shiny Charizard VMAX here. Who do you think you are, Jim Carrey? <laughs> yeah. Here is a Toxtris the VMAX this time. Sorry, I'm a little weird. Connor Bryant, congratulations on the shiny Charizard pull. I'm kind of a, a geek, nerdy person. And I agree with Schmohawk. Schmohawk. Battle Styles is supposed to cool the market a bit, but unfortunately it hasn't been the case with those <laughs> alternate arts. And until the supply increases enough to meet demand, the market More won't cool. Peco. What are the other whoa, two Pokemon back there? what happened here, bro? Yeah, whoa, come on, whoa, bro. Whoa. You're slacking. I don't look at you like, come on. Eevee, Gossifleur. I don't use ang now. Hangry Tackle on you. I use Hangry Tackle on you. Yanma, Snom, Metal-type Energy, Cramorant, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Reverse Hollow of a Spinarak, a Common. Rare here would be a Manaphy. And all of those Shiny Vault subset cards probably do probably have some texture guy. on them so it is easier mm -hmm. to identify. Even Corolla has that trick down. The muffin's a lot of sugar. I don't, not a ton of sugar, but yes, there is sugar. That's what makes it sweet. That's what makes it sweet. You don't even need sugar with all of your sweetness, right? Mm-hmm. Connor Bryan asks if I sell Pokemon. Occasionally I'll sell some of my single cards, like when I tried to save up for Carla's mattress fund. I listed a few cards on my eBay that I was not that invested in and I really didn't care if I sold. So that way I do, but I don't sell really sealed products at all. I'm not just buying out stores and then reselling. Yama starts this one. Snom, Kufant, Grookey, Buizel, Water Type Energy, Luxio, Dartrix, Rusted Shield, Reverse all of a Frost Moth. Now Carla was lucky enough to pull this card as a gold colored secret rare from Rebel Clash way back when we first started doing these live streams. And then a Professor's Research. That Frost Moth, very good. Same goes for this Professor's Research. Frost Moth could be a way to, what is it, Cheryl that will heal all damage on your VMAX, but you remove energy. Here is a Charizard. Let's pull that Charizard. That's what Mark says in the live chat. All it takes is one pack. I know my friend and coworker, he actually pulled the Charizard VMAX and sold it for $850 immediately. I told him, if you're just trying to make a profit on it, sell it right away. And right now, I don't even think you could sell it for $400, so he definitely made a big profit right away. And if you're interested in tips for collecting, I have a whole series of videos on tips for collecting. Also in my book, Pokemon Cards, The Unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide, I give some recommendations as well as for collecting, buying, and selling. Cacnea starts this one. Horsey, 
Kufant. Horsey. Choodle. Is that you, Carly? You're hangry enough to just eat the, yeah, with the weeds growing there. Yanma. Darkness type energy. Rusted sword. Ball guy. One of eight different full art trainer cards available. Thwacky. Cacnea would be a common. Rare would be a more Peko VMAX. Speaking of the hangry tackle, more Peko VMAX here looking now a little bit happy. better. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit happier than in battle styles. So not bad right there. I've had some luck pulling the full art trainers, but they are tough to come by. Here is the Corviknight, like I pulled earlier. What, three packs left to go. Still some potential for Charizard. Yes, that is what Tropic Wisdom, that is what my coworker could do, is he could actually, he sold his Charizard for 850, he could buy it for much less, but he is really looking to get cards graded, and he felt that the card that he pulled wouldn't get a PSA 10, so that's why he decided to sell it right away. He actually pulled two shiny Charizard Vs from Champion's Path, which I have not pulled, sent both of those in to get graded, both received 10 grades, and they actually sold one to me for $550, which I thought was a really good deal, PSA 10. Choodle starts that one. Choodle. Yanma, Morpeko, Eevee, Gossifleur, Grass-type Energy. Total is beautiful. Floatzel, Tropius. Gym Trainer. Ooh, sorry, honey. Reverse Hall of a Kyogre. This is an amazing rare. Disappointing that amazing rares aren't it. in battle styles. You face this card? Mm -hmm. Did you beat the deck or not? Yeah, they forfeit. I would hope so. If you're using amazing rares, you're probably not building a very good deck unless it's Jirachi. And then the final card would be an Alcremie VMAX, a rainbow rare. Not the most valuable card out there, but as a collector, I love pulling these Super tough cards to pull. So a secret rare here and a VMAX rainbow rare. The one and only VMAX rainbow rare in the base of Shining Fate. So there are 195 total cards in this special expansion. And 122 of them are in the Shiny Vault subset. So three packs left to go. Yay. Three more chances. You want the live stream to be done? You look a lot happier now than you did at the beginning. Yeah. Once you uh, defeated me in that Elite Trainer Box battle for battle styles. Yes, I have issues, bro. You cheered up a little bit, plus you have a your little. muffin. A little. A little. Okay, would love to get one more Shiny Vault subset card. I believe I pulled just one, right? Nicket. Just? No, I pulled two. I did pull two from the pack so far. Nicket. Eevee. Sounds like naked. Gossifleur, Choodle, Morpeko, Lightning Type Energy, Team Yell Towel, Floatzel, Luxio, Reverse Hall of a Horsey, a common, and the final card would be a Volcanion. Wouldn't mind pulling, actually, as a collector, the Cinderace Shiny Vault subset card. Shiny Dragapult, V Max on this one. I'm saving the Charizard cover artwork design pack until the end. There are seven different V Max shiny Pokemon in the Shiny Vault subset. All it takes is one pack to pull that Charizard. Ditto is another one that I wouldn't mind pulling. Choodle starts this one. Morpeko. Cacnea. It's got some cheese in its hands. Horsey. Kufant. Fighting type energy, Luxio, Gym Trainer, Thwacky, Reverse Hollow oh, of a Failing. So there would be the third Shiny Vault subset card. Now, between the Shiny Vault subset in Shining Fates versus Hidden Fates, I like the Hidden Fates better because it does say what set the card is actually from. Was this a white card code card? Every pack is a white card code card. And there is a Frost Sad. Moth. All right, final pack here in this live stream. I did see that. Too Wish me some last pack magic. So let me know what what elite trainer box. If you watch the whole live stream, you like best. Now I started off very nicely pulling oh that rapid goodness, strike or Shifu V, and then Carla pulled the single strike. Your Shifu <laughs> V Max, which is probably the best pull of the entire video.
Pedro, I can't. Four and then two. So I'll just set the card here. I don't want to know if it's Aww. a shiny vault subset card or not. You just spit. Did I? Yeah. Or more Petco starts this one. Horsey. Spinarak. Rowlet. More Petco. Fire type energy. Eldegoss. Luxio. And then a gym Jim trainer. Player. Rare here. Otherwise, yes, the search magic. for Charizard continues, which more than likely it will. Aww. Rare here would be a Celebi. Last chance in this live stream. I'll summarize my polls and then chat a little bit with the live chat Maybe. before we hit the hay for the evening. Is it the Charizard Aww. Professor's Research, which is a rare reverse hollow? But a solid, essentially, 36 booster pack opening live stream oh, okay. this evening. Yeah, that... no full art trainer cards in the Elite Trainer box. What is this, Shining Fates? Yes. That's why. Yeah, they're tough to pull from Shining Fates. Mm -hmm. So, I'll summarize my polls. Not, oh. not terrible, really. Oh, and I can't sure. believe I was doing some reorganizing in the cupboards today. I opened up the covers, two Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes opened up, of course, and I opened so much Champions Path in the search for Charizard. Either the Rainbow Rare or the Shiny V never pulled either one. So I have three, there we go. So not bad from the Elite Trainer box. I was able to pull out Three rare reverse hollow, two rare hollow, and then some other decent cards. Frostmoth is very good with its ability, allowing you to move water energy around. Professor's Research and Decidueye. So it's competitive cards. Two rare hollow and Luxray, and that same Frostmoth. One amazing rare. There's three in the set in Reshiram, Kyogre, and Eveltal. Kyogre here. One VMAX. There are six VMAX available in the base of this set. More Pekko is the one that I pulled. The one and only VMAX Rainbow Rare, El Creamy, I was able to pull. And then right on the target for the number of Shiny Vault subset cards from 10 packs in three, was able to pull Phalanx, Corviknight, which I am very happy I pulled this one. I don't believe I pulled it in the past. And then a Toxtricity V. So the hunt for me personally to get Charizard into my collection continues. But who knows? Hopefully, actually I did pre, not pre-order, actually purchased well above MSRP from Collector's Cash. $180. I bought a case of the mini tins. Have not opened up any of the mini tins on my channel. So there's another chance at that Charizard. And then if I can ever find any Shining Face in retail stores, or at least not priced crazy high above MSRP, I might pick up a few more boxes if I can ever find any, but Toxtricity V. So there would be the polls from all three Elite Trainer boxes. I can hang out in the chat a little bit, but 8.30 is usually the deadline, then I like to take a bath, right? Mm -hmm. Any luck finding product for MSRP? No. And... Mm. Unfortunately, no matter what happens, my brother goes out to Walmart to check. I go out to Walmart and check. Things get taken right away. Last time, there was actually two people that came from out of town and basically just took everything directly from the MJ Holdings guy that was stocking these shelves. I know my local Walmart, I finally went there. There were the check lane blister packs from Crimson Invasion there. Now, Crimson Invasion is just a terrible set. It's not in the standard format. I went there the next day. I didn't personally pick up anything from Crimson Invasion. Everything was gone the next day. People are just buying sealed products to buy sealed products because they can think they can flip everything for a profit. Now, if the Pokemon Company International ever does meet the demand, a lot of people out there, a lot of resellers, even local gaming stores, are going to be sitting on a ton of product that they are just overpricing by tens of dollars. It will be crazy if the production really ramps up. But Chilling Rain is the next set coming out. So 
that set will have to be rushed through production like Battle Styles was. I've seen lots of strange things happening with Battle Styles. I know the pull rates are a little bit tougher in Battle Styles, but in the booster box break that I just did this past Friday, amazing pulls. Probably the best booster box you'll ever see of Battle Styles. Make sure you watch that break. And if you do want to get into another break of mine, I'm doing a break for another booster box of Battle Styles. Ryan Majeski at msn.com via PayPal. You can find that in the description of this video. $13 per spot. You can purchase as many spots as you'd like to get into that winner takes all battle styles booster box break. And right now, those alternate art cards, which I pulled one of in the previous booster box, are very valuable. And they are worth, three of them are worth over $100 a piece. And I see in the live chat, a couple of people mentioned they're never going to buy anything above MSRP, and I would love to be that the case for myself. Even Collector's Cash, which I've had a relationship with for years, I've had to pay more than MSRP. I was lucky enough to get Battle Styles under MSRP, but I pre-ordered that stuff in December, and like Schmohawk talked about earlier, this set, Battle Styles, was supposed to calm the market down a little bit because it wasn't supposed to be super collectible, but still it's selling out right away. Let's see what else is in the live chat. Interact a little bit. Liam Spears wants to know if I play competitively, and I do play competitively. The biggest achievement competitively for myself is I've won a League Cup, took first place there. I also qualified for the national online tournament through the Dork Den, the local gaming store that I go to. I haven't done any battle videos on my channel recently just because the standard format was a little bit stagnant. I should really jump back into it with Battle Styles. My favorite deck before Battle Styles was released, Eternatus VMAX. Now with Single Strike and Rapid Strike, Urshifu VMAX, and the support for Rapid Strike and Single Strike cards, Fighting type Pokemon are going to be very powerful. So wave goodbye to Eternatus VMAX as well as Pikachu and Zekrom GX, or at least they won't be as good. I still think they should be pretty good overall. And yes, Raphael, Raphael in the live chat, they pre-ordered Battle Styles as well. And like I mentioned earlier, I've seen on a local Facebook page, Pokemon Go Facebook page actually, someone just bought the whole display, I would assume from Walmart, it looks like a display from Walmart with the individual packs, of course Battle Styles, no theme decks available, but it's just getting to the point where people are just buying Pokemon cards, sealed products, never ever opening it up and just trying to resell it for profit. They don't care about Pokemon cards at all, they're just trying to quit make a quick profit, which there's... No issue in doing that, but for collectors like myself, and there's kids out there that are collecting, it is tough going to stores and not seeing anything at all. But at the same time, those resellers, some of them must not have a clue because I go, if I ever, ever see product in retail stores, it's always stuff that's just terrible. Like it's the, what was it that just came out? The level ball where you get two packs that are, or two or three packs inside that is just terrible like Crimson Invasion and Sun and Moon Base set packs that are worth nothing. And people just scoop those up thinking they're going to sell for big money as well. It's just crazy. Let's see. Anything else in the live chat? And yes, it is crazy with sealed prices, even for booster boxes. When I first started on YouTube back in 2008, I believe it was $80 to $85 for a sealed booster box. They would always take a loss, companies would take a loss selling those booster boxes compared to MSRP. MSRP, they're still making a profit overall. But now it's jumping to 120 or more dollars. Let's see what else is in the live chat. Yes, I agree. Just got to keep up with the positivity and don't support the scalpers and greedy retailers. And it is crazy. Even, even the dork den where... It was very nice that they would sell everything at MSRP, good or bad products. Then I think it started with Champion's Path, where they could set aside an Elite Trainer box for me. I get there. They didn't tell me this, but then they priced it up to $65, which I still purchased it. But that's the type of thing, which that's 
okay to do, I guess, if everyone else is doing it. But now I've heard stories where local gaming stores are sending their workers or people to get a cut of what they find. They're sending them to all these retail stores around, cleaning the shelves off, and then they're bringing back to those local gaming stores and selling even more products. So just, it is a terrible, terrible time going on. Yes, I can't find any Shiny Fates packs. Joey, hamster guy, is saying in the live chat. I, have, I haven't seen anything going on in the live chat. Carla's laughing okay. back there. Okay. Yes, and, and I agree with, with Chris. Chris, there's... Chris? Yes, Chris. Krish. I'm getting a little tired. Is that there's lots of sealed product out there of Shiny Fates. It's just not in retail stores. So eventually I would think... <laughs> The price has to come down, but even though with Hidden Fates, there's lots of sealed products of Hidden Fates out there, and stores are still getting the Elite Trainer boxes, but prices are still really high, so it's just a matter of time, and that will clean everything up. It'll, it'll straighten out, I think, price-wise. I think that will conclude this live stream, though. Carla's laying over there. I have an Easter live stream. An Easter live stream? Is, that, is Easter on a Sunday? Really? I did not know. <laughs> I would assume so. Usually we don't have anything on Easter evening, right? Yeah, it's in the morning on Easter. Really gonna do anything else. Yeah, with COVID going on, we're not going to be doing anything too special for Easter. So maybe a big announcement coming, who knows? But um, we shouldn't be doing anything too special on Easter. I don't know why Carla's laughing over there. Because that week. Mike, Mike, I have seen Hidden Fates reprinted. There's not any big news on it, but the Pokemon Company International has said that they will continue printing newer sets if there's demand for it, and there's lots of demand for Hidden Fates. But a few reminders before I end this live stream. First off, thank you everyone for watching, no matter if you watch this whole live stream or just a few minutes. Number two, make sure you subscribe and leave a like if you think this video deserved it. And then if you would like to support the channel even more, lots of ways to do that. I do have a Battle Styles booster box break upcoming. $13 per spot to enter. Winner takes all. Ryan Majeski at msn.com via PayPal to enter. And just think of it as a great way to support the channel. You're essentially donating the channel with a chance at getting basically an entire booster box. You can also donate via the live chat, via super stickers or a super chat. Benson donations this evening. You can go on eBay and purchase signature cards from me as well as some other cards from my collection. I do sell some of my cards from time to time. like to fundraise for Carla's mattress fund back there, which we did get the Helix Lux mattress. Hopefully if that will be a good one. And then... You can always purchase my book, Pokemon Cards, the unofficial Ultimate Collector's Guide. But the best way to support the channel, just watch my videos and cheer us on. So that will conclude this live stream. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you. Thanks, Carla. You're welcome. Good night, everyone. Good night. Enjoy your week.